What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining me again. It's your good old friend, Mac. And uh, I didn't make a video last week. It's actually, I made a video and posted it, but it didn't go through. Uh, it was going to be Facebook only, anyway. Um, I basically showed everyone, I did a tour around the inside of the new Vape Place location. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It is, it, well, okay, it's really awesome. Huge space, like 3,000 square foot building, and uh, yeah, it's nice. Pool table, bar, all kind of good stuff. So if you're local, you need to go check out the Vape Place's new location in Boaz. Uh, got a grand opening coming up. Is it this week? This coming weekend? This coming Friday, I think? The 13th? Maybe? Uh... One moment, please. Uno momento. Uh, it is. It's indeed. This Friday. Grand opening. Grand reopening. Uh, cloud competition. There's going to be all kind of good stuff going on. So if you're local, come out and hang out. Um, the address should be on their Facebook page and website. So it should be easy to, to find the directions. I don't have the address uh, handy. Anyway, it's not about that today. Uh, at all. I was going to make a rant video because I seen a study that pissed me off and it pissed me off because I seen so many people sharing it and uh, all the comments on it, a lot of them were for people that were buying into this bullshit study, uh, pardon my language. I, I may cuss a few times talking about this. I'm not going to say much. Um, I'm sure some of you have seen it. The study was mice about e-cigarettes lowering your immune system. Uh, yeah, that really pissed me off. Um, and it pissed me off because they talk about how bad e-cigarettes are for you. By the way, they used a, a Enjoy um, <clears throat> in the study, which... Uh, Everybody vapes enjoy, right? No, nobody vapes enjoy. I mean, no offense, enjoy if you happen to see this video, but most of the people that use the enjoy are either trying it out, you know, dipping their toes in the water, so to speak, or say you happen to be out of town and you lose your device and there's no vape shops around. You just happen to see uh, one in the store and you're having a nick fit, you know, uh, that's about the only time people use enjoys, but that's beside the point. <sighs> so right in the middle of this uh, story, from almost every one of the, the websites I've seen posted, it tells one little bit of unbiased information. One little bit of truth in the, in the middle. What? The whole study missed. And that is the e-cigarettes are still 100 times safer than traditional cigarettes. See, that's where the, all of these studies are missing the boat. We're not trying to say that this is a medicine. It's not a medicine. It's not a cure. It's, it's not a miracle device. It is for all, for us that have used it to quit smoking, have used it for its intended purpose. But it's not 100% safe. We all know this. And I believe ever since day one, it's been marketed as a health reduction and a a uh, more healthy alternative to cigarettes. And it is, uh, bar none. There's not a study out right now that that can honestly, unbiasedly, not paid by big pharma or big tobacco, that can say that this is even close to being as dangerous as a real cigarette. So that kind of got me pissed off. Now back back to the the video and the reason why we're here. It's the Derringer. Um, I've been wanting to do this review, and I was hoping I wanted to do it and a simple mod together because they look, I mean, they look like they were made for each other. They're perfect, and it makes just the, the awesomest tiny little 18650 mechanical device. But I don't have a simple mod yet. So I'm going to be using it on the BC, which still rocks. You can see, look how tiny this thing is. It's so freaking small. Uh, yeah, my BC is beat to hell and back, by the way. Um, 
so small. Let's unscrew it here, and I'll show you just how small. It's the smallest dripper I've ever seen, and that's with the drip tip. Look how little bitty. It's freaking tiny. Um, and let's take the drip tip out. Look, it came with this little bitty, tiny little bitty drip tip, which is cool because it kind of fits the whole package. Um, now, you can use any drip tip on it. I've put a few of my acrylic ones on it and some others, and I just don't like them as much as I like that small one. The small one really works well for this. Um, so that's what I've been using. It has a gold-plated center post. At least this one does because it is a Clizon. Uh, gold-plated gold center post and 510 connection there. You can see it does protrude out so it will work perfect on your uh, hybrid style top caps um, like the 49 the sample and, and things like that so it works well with those without getting a short um, let's open it up here now it does have two separate rings you have a, a outer airflow control slash top cap which is uh, that right there see it's got the two slots in it Um, it's flat on the inside. It's not a conical or a domed top cap on the inside, which usually, from my experience, seems to help out the flavor when it does have a uh, conical or domed uh, chamber. But it, it doesn't seem to hurt this whatsoever. Now, I'm just wiping some juice off here because this thing is juicy. I've been using it a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so yeah, here is the inner airflow control ring. If I can get it off of there, see it's got three holes there. That's single in the front, and both on each side are for dual cools. So it is single and dual cool compatible, and I have built it as such um, in all types of configurations. And then you have the deck. Well, let's. Get some focus going on here. If I can pull up my webcam options, and that is the deck. It's three post style. You see, it's gold plated center post. It does have Allen key screws. Um, now I have cotton in here, so you can't really tell it. This thing has a ridiculously deep juice well. I would say it's between two and a half and three millimeters deep. Um, really, really deep. Uh, the negative posts you can see there are slotted. Um, the center post does have a single hole. Uh, a lot of builds have fit in it. Uh, they're not. It's not the biggest center post hole. I would say it's around one and a half millimeter. Um, maybe, yeah, about one and a half millimeter. Could be two. Uh, It's been working well, uh, really well. Um, right now, it's I've got it built at 0.4 at 45 watts, and I mean it's just been it, it works it works really, 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 really well. It's easy to build on, and I've noticed I hate Allen keys. I hate Allen screws. I really do because uh, they tend to get stripped out real easily, especially on these clones. They send you an Allen key that fits, but it's not a perfect fit, so over time they do get stripped out they get they get rounded out in the center but on this one I found that it doesn't bother me so much because I realized that with the Allen keys I, I don't have to worry about it snipping my wire when I tighten down the leads so that kind of makes up for it in my book now like I said I have built this in single coil and dual coil uh, single coil, I like it. I'm a single coil guy, but the only problem is, is in single coil mode, the airflow seems a little bit too restrictive for my taste. Um, I like, when I build a single coil, I either like it to be really, really tight, which you can make it really tight, or I like it to be really airy. Um, 
you can make it really tight, do those nice mouth to lung hits. But, you know, sometimes you want to take a big lung hit uh, off a of single coil. And the airflow is just a little too tight for my taste uh, in single coil. In dual coil mode, man, this thing is perfect. It's uh, the airflow on it's nice. It's restrictive enough to make your uh, your vape really dense and super flavorful, but it's airy enough to where you can take a nice big lung hit. It's real easy. It's whooshy. It's it's nice. It's not uh, crazy wide open, but it's not too closed off. It the flavor on it as of today. As of right now, the best flavor that I've gotten off of an RDA. Yes, I just said that. Um, I've been using it nonstop since I picked it up. Since it came in. It actually came in the mail. Um, been using it nonstop. I built it the second that I got it in. Uh, as soon as I got it in, I washed it and built it. And I've been using it. Ever since, I've tried all different kind of coils, twisted, uh, micro coils, macro coil, um, single coil, parallel coils. What I found best that works for me, and I'm a, I'm a boring coil builder for the most part. I, I experiment with different stuff, but I find my favorite vape, on regulated anyway, is a 26 gauge micro coil. And that's what this is. Um, And it, it just works, man. It works really well. Um, on a mechanical mod, I like to use 24-gauge uh, and do dual 24-gauge micros. But it still gives you about the same flavor. Uh, the flavor is great. It's intense. It's nice. It's deep. You taste everything. It doesn't, it doesn't taste muted at all. Like, Nothing about it is even close to muted. You get all the notes, and that's what I really like about it. Um, I want another vape. I will say that this has made me vape a lot more juice, simply because I love the flavor on it so much that I vape a lot more, which that could be a plus, could be a minus. Uh, I've been going through a lot more juice because I've been vaping a lot more. But I'm also enjoying it a lot more too. It's not like I'm losing juice from leakage or anything else. So yeah, the let's get into some pros and cons. The pros, flavor, of course, flavor. First and foremost, flavor. Uh, the airflow on it's nice and dual cool. Single cool, it's a... Uh, Eh, but dual cool, it's perfect for me. For my taste, I love it. Um, I love the fit and finish. If you could see this thing on a simple mod, if you hadn't seen it on a simple mod yet, go look for one. It's so perfect. They they fit so perfect together. So I'm looking forward to getting one in. I already bought me some new batteries. Just for when the simple does come in, I, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to rock and roll. The size, it's it's small, and that's what I like. I'm not a big vape kind of guy. I mean, I do vape some big stuff like my 26650 BC mod is a big mod. I vape it. This is not exactly small. I mean, but it is kind of. But I like small vapes and I think it's going to be perfect once I get a step on it but uh, yeah and the airflow the adjustable airflow works really really nice um, you can adjust it any way you want to and I mean it really works so when you cut one off you can tell a difference at every little bit that you take away or add to it and that's that's good uh, not all RDAs are like that say the dark horse for instance uh, 
you can cut the airflow almost completely off on the dark horse and it's still not tight. This you can cut it down to like you would be dragging on a, a cartomizer or a HH357. Now the, the cons. The cons are, for one, the posts. I wish they would have done it reverse. And what I mean by reverse, I wish they would have slotted the center post and put the holes in the negative post because I feel like that would have made it a lot easier to build um, bigger coils. Um, I don't really see why they slotted the negative post. It's not like you're going to be running more negative leads than you are positive leads. Um, usually, you know, your positives where you have the most leads going into. Um, another con, the, the single coil airflow, I kind of wish it would be a little bit more airier. Maybe I, I may go ahead and drill these holes for single coil mode out a little bit. Since the airflow control does work so well that I can choke it down if I need if I need to. Um, that's about it. I mean, that's the only cons I really have. Um, everything else about it's perfect. It's my new favorite RDA, folks, and I'm gonna keep using it. Um, it's gonna be hard to top this. It, it really is. I've vaped a lot of different stuff, uh, lots, and. Even though you might not win a cloud competition with it, it's not really designed to do that. Um, I will say, though, you can chuck a hell of a cloud with it. I mean, for 0.4 on 45 watts, it gets down. It's rowdy. It's a feisty, feisty little RDA. It's nice and warm, too. Um, so yeah, I recommend it. If you, if you've thought about buying a Derringer and you wonder if you'd like it, honestly, I can't see the downside to it. And even the authentic is not too expensive. It's too expensive for my budget as of today, but it's not as expensive as what you would think it would be for the quality of the vape you get from it. I've, I've gotten a lot less quality of a vape from RDAs that cost substantially more. I mean, way more. I'm talking nearly $200 atomizers that don't vape nowhere near as good as this. And uh, So yeah, that's what I got. If you're thinking about a Derringer, you're wondering if you might like it, I say give it a shot. Um, even Cloud Chasers, this has a, a loose enough draw to where you would enjoy it. And it makes this um, Max VG juice that I'm vaping just as flavorful as a 50-50 blended juice. I mean, you get all the notes, and that, that's that's rare. Um, and it's not an over-flavored juice either, because I know that's what you're going to be thinking, but no. It's it's not a powerfully flavored juice um, at all. So anyway, that's what I got. I'll see you guys next Monday. Uh, hopefully the simple will be in by then. And I can just go ahead and do a review on that so I can show you the two together. But I appreciate you watching. Uh, thank you. And I'll see you guys next time.